Hey, what's up, everyone? I'm Praetorian, and welcome back to Heart of Iron 4 as we are playing with Germany and the Central Powers. So, I left this uh, faction map up so you guys see uh, what the current factions look like. Uh, remember, we also have these, the Polish faction, which, of course, Poland's gone, uh, but China and Japan are in it, as weird as that is. Um, so, let's go ahead and get started, guys. Um, so, we left off uh, over here attempting to invade into New England. We've got the majority of the key victory points in Canada uh, taken, and really all we need to do is get Vancouver. If we get Vancouver, it should be it. Um, the problem is that, of course, we're having some trouble advancing on this front, because uh, it's always a difficult front. However, we are about to win here. We're going to get these six divisions cut off, so that'll be nice. I think we're actually already moving troops over here. Maybe we're not. Oh, uh, yeah, we are. Uh, so we got troops moving over there now, and hopefully we'll grab that up. We'll defeat them here, cut those guys off, destroy them. Uh, and just cause more casualties to the allies. Uh, over here, what we're going to do is we're going to bring these other yellow divisions over here. I feel like supply is pretty good now. Uh, so let's go ahead and get them placed into this front. And uh, we'll get Manstein a bit more divisions. Uh, I went and moved around a bunch of other divisions in preparation for invasions uh, and for other things. Uh, like we're going to bring an army over here. Maybe we'll do an invasion from Alaska into uh, the west coast or something. I don't know. It really depends. It's only three sea regions, so we could cover them with the Asian fleet if need be. Um, so let's go to get started, guys. What I'm going to do is start out with an attack over here. Should be able to get a win there. Uh, yeah, definitely going to get a win there. And then hopefully get an attack right here, though we're not going to want to send both of these divisions. We're just going to want to, like, uh, support that attack. And then you can kind of see what I'm trying to do. We're going to grab Boston up, and then we're going to also want to uh, cut these divisions off here if we can. Uh, so it's gonna be hard to do uh, obviously the front is as you know as it is already a bit stretched out here uh, I wish I could get a win here. Maybe we could just to push him back cuz yeah, I don't see us cutting them off You know, let's just try and see if we can't push these troops back um, It shouldn't be that difficult to do uh, and then we'll support with these guys I don't know. There's a lot of divisions there. We'll just have to see how that ends up working uh, Also, I messed with the Air Force a little bit. Uh, it looks like we finally have air superiority uh, in New England, we probably would have it up here in uh, eastern Canada if it wasn't for the fact that our air base is so messed up that we're probably having some, uh, we're not getting very efficient uh, fighters out there. Uh, so we can now drop nukes here, so that's going to be super useful. So let's go ahead and take care of that. Let's nuke them right there. That'll make that victory go a little bit quicker. And I wonder if we couldn't, yeah, maybe drop a nuke on Boston as well. Yeah, that's exactly what we're going to do. Let's go and attack here. Um, looks like they're going to win there, so it doesn't really matter. We're going to attempt an attack right there as well. Uh, and then what we'll do is we'll nuke them there. And then we're going to attempt an attack right here, too. Let's go and move these guys. And let's attack here. I know this is going to be a loss, but with the nuke, I'm hoping that'll make it a victory. And then we'll be able to get these uh, troops here completely cut off. And then we'll destroy them. There we go. Gorgeous nuclear bombs everywhere. Uh, this is not going well for the, for the Americans right now. Um, so yeah, this is this is awesome. This is exactly what we needed. Uh, also, I went ahead and made our fleet repair over here uh, because they're uh, they're pretty damaged. Uh, so we're letting them repair because the invasion is almost ready. 17 days. I also built another fleet uh, as well that will move over there once we're ready. Uh, so that we can cover all those sea regions into Puerto Rico. Uh, so these guys have now been cut off. Let's go ahead and take the territory. Um, and then we'll get these guys destroyed. It doesn't probably not a whole lot of divisions there. Uh, we'll see. We'll see what we got uh, over there. So, looking good there. Um, I think we're going to go ahead and launch an attack here. I know that that's across the river, but we got to attack eventually across the river. Yeah, I can't attack that way either. Uh, let's go. No, no, no. Send the light tank in. Try and get across there. Uh, looks like they have fortifications over there. Interesting. Uh, let's see how things are going over here in Alaska. Okay, excellent. We did cut these troops off. Now we just got to work on getting them destroyed now, uh, which we'll use these troops, I think. See if they can't get a victory there. It looks like they should be able to. And then we'll have these guys go up there as well. And get those six divisions destroyed. We're already moving troops over here. Uh, and anybody who's not moving should be going over there as well. And then we'll move the rest down here. Okay, looking good. Yeah, this front is looking excellent. Um, and then what we need to do is let's launch an attack. All right, so they're going that way. Let's go ahead and do... These guys this way. These guys, hmm. Let's send them that way. And then these guys over here. And then you guys are going to go that way. All right, excellent. 
I'm just trying to get Canada taken over. Um, stretch the front out of it. Uh, it looks like we could get a victory here as well. So we'll go ahead and launch an attack there. It looks like that should be a victory too. Maybe. Possibly. I'm not entirely sure. Um, and we'll continue pushing toward Vancouver. There's really not too many troops over there to stop us now uh, from, you know, just pushing the front forward. Uh, so what are these guys doing? Looks like they're attempting to take that territory right there. Uh, so we don't want that. Hmm. All right. Well, there's not really any way to stop them except for attacking across the river. When did they get there? Ah, we got plenty of time. Plenty of time, guys. All right, let's start moving towards uh, Providence. I'm going to attack here as well. These guys should be pretty weak. All these divisions should be pretty weak since we just did just, did just drop nukes on all of them. So I imagine they're not doing so well. Um, these guys clearly are on the wrong front or something. Uh, let's go ahead and attempt to cut some troops off here. Uh, we'll go ahead and attack. Uh, no, no, no. Let's have them go this way. All right, excellent. Um, so, yeah, looking pretty good on this front. And I did forget we have... Our naval invasion is ready on this front as well, so let's go ahead and launch them, and hopefully these go well. Um, I just have to see, guys. We got two naval invasions going. Uh, it looks like these guys are actually not able to go yet because we aren't covering right there. Okay, we will fix that then. Uh, so we're gonna want to go ahead and pull back on uh, this frontier or this uh, air, uh, sea region and go into the Philippine Sea, uh, if I can talk here. Um, so we are. Uh, we're sinking a lot of convoys through this area, uh, but I'm not seeing us sinking too much of their fleet, and I know the Australians do have, oops, god damn it, uh, they do have a bit of a navy left, yeah, 22 to 25 ships definitely pose a little bit of a threat to our convoys, so hopefully they don't get caught over there. How are we looking on this? 63 of 77 days? I know I'm pausing a lot, guys, that's because we're basically micromanaging uh, several fronts right now, um, so kind of necessary uh, for us to be pausing it a bit more. But we're making progress and that's what's key. I know a lot of people flip out about the pausing and stuff. I never really understood it. Like as long as you're like winning, I don't see what it matters. Um, you know, obviously it's quicker if you don't pause at all. We're gonna go ahead and nuke these guys. No, we can't. This must be a different air region. No, no, we just don't have air superiority anymore. Okay, they must have moved planes perhaps. Not entirely sure. Do we have any more room? No, we do not. I think I'm building that up, but it's uh, it must have got damaged. Yeah, I think it did get damaged. Uh, let's just take a look here. I uh, know it's got to be damaged. St. Lawrence, is that this area? Yes. So we're going to want to take that up to the top uh, as well as the New England area. Yeah. Okay. Just uh, a lot of trouble probably from those nukes. Those nukes tend to do a lot of damage to the infrastructure. I don't know why. It doesn't make any damn sense. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, that's, oops, that's Cross River. Don't want to do that. All right. Um, all right. So the, the front is, is uh, really stretched out right now. Uh, so let's go in and stretch it out some more. <laughs> Why not, right? Uh, we will attack. Okay, so right along this area, there's not a lot of room for us to do anything right now. And we don't really have the troop numbers over here. So the Purple Army is incredibly stretched out. Um, we won't need as many over here, if any, once we get the rest of the Yellow Army over here. Uh, but they're just not here yet. Let's go ahead and have, okay, let's have these guys attack here. Try and get them wiped out. Make it happen. Um, and then we're going to have, ooh, they're attempting to, let's have these guys come on over here. And then all of these divisions, if you're not on this front, then get on the front. All right, so they've already taken that. All right, uh, oh, they did reconnect. That doesn't matter anyway. We cut them off. Lovely. Okay, so and they're coming over here as well. Um, so looking good. Uh, we're getting there. Getting it done, guys. Um, so what we need to do is have you guys come over here and get Providence back for us. Uh, defend it because currently there's nobody over there. Uh, let's take a look at our, our naval invasions, wherever those might be. Looks like they're over here. I don't know why they have the, the armored, but whatever, or the uh, defensive shield. Uh, they're not defensive. Um, I wonder if we can reach there. We probably could have. We probably could have built it up, and I just didn't realize that we hadn't been doing that. All right, so what we need to do is just move some stuff around here. We do have uh, fighter and close air support. Let's go ahead and move them over here and have them go there. Uh, and then we're probably going to want to put some more over here. I should have done this already. I didn't realize I hadn't, though. I thought we had this all prepped already, but we did not. Oh, we did not. All right, so we can put 1,000 over here. That'll be 400 plus this one will be 600. Uh, so let's go ahead and get you guys doing close air support, and then we're going to want to get some more fighters as well, and we do need to fix these guys. Uh, we're going to need more fighters. Fighters. Fighter support. Uh, we will do two sets of Bravos, I think, here. And that should be should be enough for right now. All right, so what we're going to want to do is put one of them over the Philippines because it looks like we're having some difficulty there. Um, did I put them in the wrong place? Oh, 
looks like I did. Shit. <laughs> All right, well, we'll just fix this, guys. My bad. I don't know how that happened. Um, can I move him now? No. Damn. All right, we're just gonna have to wait to deploy. So that kind of sucks. Uh, we'll just have to pay attention to it uh, at the time, I suppose. Because I put him in the wrong airbase. I didn't realize I was putting him in the wrong airbase. So this is gonna be the 14th of December um, for all of these. So we just need to pay attention to the time. We know we won't, but let's just pretend that we would. Uh, so that invasion looks to be going well. Um, well, kind of. I mean, it could go better. It's yellow. Then these guys already finished up. So let's go ahead and give them the orders to take over this island here. Just take it over. And I don't think I'm gonna give them any of these these tanks over here. I don't really think they need them. Uh, there's not even anybody defending. I'd prefer to put the tanks into the Philippines. So let's let them do their job here. And I am worried that us having this on two different uh, fronts for the same army is gonna result in that army leaving if their front disappears and going to the other one, which would be uh, not desirable. So it'd be a shame. But yeah, there's nothing uh, Nothing I can do about it right now. It seems that these guys, okay, they did lose. They're currently retreating to there. It's just those those regions are so large. Um, it just takes a long time for them to get anywhere. Uh, so these guys are gonna move down here. There's uh, one cavalry division currently defending that. Looks like this division here, what is he doing? Come forward, attack. Um, who in there? We could. We're gonna attack there then. Uh, we'll have these guys push forward as well. Although I think we already have somebody going that way, we do. All right, so let's instead do it this way. Have this guy go here, and you know what, that's fine. Yeah, we'll get more divisions coming down here uh, in a little bit. And these guys here should get overran as well once we take that province, uh, which shouldn't take very long. So looking good over there. Let's take a look at it. I wonder if we can build over there yet. Probably not, but we should check. We can. All right, excellent, let's go and build up. Uh, we're gonna wanna get this up to eight. Uh, that's also gonna give us a little bit of oil too. Uh, and then we're gonna want build up the air base here so we can actually get a little bit of uh, support there and we will need to tick those up to the top they're pretty important it's gonna make that happen okay uh, how's this front going uh, I know that we're still waiting on some divisions here but we can probably advance it although this is all across of a river uh, which is unfortunate uh, yeah the purple army is just too goddamn stretched out man uh, what we need to do probably is pull them back a bit, but I really want to advance down here towards New York and Philadelphia, so we won't do that. Uh, what we're going to do instead is let's just attack over here. And do we have air support? No, we do not. All right, but they are all damaged up. Yeah, they are not doing very well. Uh, so we're, what we're going to go ahead and do is let's go and attack over here and over here, since these are not across rivers. And then we're going to send all of these divisions. Uh, oh, these are across the river. Okay. Hmm. All right, let's just go ahead and attack here, guys. I know it's across the river, but it's fine. All right, where can they attack? Can they attack there? Yeah, there we go. Uh, lovely. Um, then we're going to attack right here, and it looks like that would be a loss. We're going to send another tank in. Okay, that'd be a victory. I know a lot of these are across rivers, guys, so obviously not the most desirable attacks, uh, but it's it's uh, going to be necessary. So it does seem we lost here. I guess that's not surprising when we didn't have our planes. Uh, over here, and it is past the 14th, so we could have sent them. Uh, so let's go and take care of that. Um, I don't think any of, these, any of these guys have tasks just yet. I'm not sure though. Um, so we have, yes, yeah, so, okay, he's got a task. Okay, all of these guys have tasks. Uh, it's just the ones over here, and I don't know. Yeah, some of them got tasks, but they're not really able to do it because we didn't move them to the damn airbase. Um, so we could probably cover it from here, I'd imagine. Yeah, probably. Uh, and then you guys are going to go here as well. Provide fighter support. A lot of vehicles going by. Sorry about that. And then you guys are going to go here. And hopefully hopefully that will allow us to seize air superiority. Uh, it looks like we do have it. It's green right now. Uh, and then maybe the next attack will be a little bit more successful than this one was. Since this one clearly didn't go very well. Um, and... Yeah, we'll just have to launch it again. Uh, so these guys are advancing, or they're supposed to be. They're not really doing it the way I want them to, but they're kind of advancing. Um, they could just go a little bit quicker, I think. All right, so pushing forward there. Let's see if we're ready for our main invasion here. We are. I'm sure our fleet is still probably repairing, though. And I kind of want to let them repair just a little bit longer. Um, that is a full-size uh, uh, port, so they should be able to get done soon. Um, and, you know, we're advancing over here, so that's what matters. Uh, we're, we're winning. We're getting victories. Uh, so let's see if we can't get a victory there. And then cut these troops off. 
Should be too challenging. We will need to send some troops down here. In fact, let's just go ahead and send this guy over here. Uh, he's a nice, fast, light tank, so he should be able to get done. Uh, we're going to send that infantry here, and then we're going to attempt to take the province of New York to cut these divisions off. Uh, it looks like it's going to be a bit of a challenge, but I think we're going to be able to handle it. Uh, we will support with these guys. And get her done. All right, so we did win here. Let's go ahead and keep on pushing forward. Who dares win? Uh, and, yeah, let's just go ahead and push forward here as well with these troops. And uh, continue getting victories wherever we can. Uh, a lot of defenses here. What did we do over here on this front? Oh, the front is ugly. Um, it looks like we actually have too many divisions up here. Uh, in fact, we just do not need that many divisions up here. Yeah, they're fucking this up. Uh, there should only be one division up here. I think one division can handle it. So they're going to go that way, and they'll just kind of slowly move up that way. Take that territory, uh, and reconnect, and then connect with these guys, I should say. Not really reconnect. Uh, and then these guys are coming over here to take that. We did wipe out those divisions there, so now all of the divisions can get onto this front here. And I want them to continue advancing uh, down the coast. The Dutch East Indies has just capitulated. That is great news. Um, another, and then the fall of New York. Another victory for the Vaterland. All right, so we have taken New York over, which does mean that these troops here, I believe, are now cut off from supply. So let's go and get them destroyed. Even though it is across rivers, it's going to be necessary for us to uh, attack across rivers. God damn it. I thought I had him selected. I did not. Uh, let's have this guy come over this way instead of whatever he was going to do. All right, looking good. Um, and we're going to have to keep that guy here for right now. And then we'll take that uh, province there. All right, so we're looking good, guys. Um, didn't mean to yell it at you. <laughs> but, yeah, we're looking pretty good. Uh, we're going to go ahead and do the region-wide. I got excited. Um, and we also have dockyards. Uh, so let's go ahead and get those assigned. Uh, we have air experience to spend. I don't know which one we're currently building up. I think we just finished the naval bombers. Yeah, we're done with all these. So I suppose what we're going to want to work on is the... Strategic or tactical bombers uh, would probably be their best options right now. It looks like we're currently not building those. I think we do need to start pulling some of these factories from some of this other stuff that we're not uh, really using as much of anymore. So let's go ahead and do that. Uh, we'll pull, oh, let me just see here what the, the best thing to pull from. Probably the medium tanks because we got like a ton of those. Uh, yeah, we have a ton of factories going towards medium tanks right now. So let's pull all these back here. Uh, I think that'd be wise. Um, light tanks. Yeah, we're pretty good on light tanks as well. Uh, mechanized, I probably will keep that pumping towards mechanized because you can always use more of those. Um, but still, not that's not enough, guys. That is not going to be enough. All right, so let's just pull these back to like 50. And let me see how that does, how that changes our situation here. We can also pull these guys back as well uh, and see how this looks. A lot of these are, are damaged. Yeah, this is not going to be enough, guys. All right, so we need to continue pulling uh, from, from some stuff. Uh, once again, we don't we don't really need all this, so it's it's fine if we pull from it. Another one's infantry equipment probably be fine to pull from because we have so much of it. So let's go and do that. Uh, and then that should have fixed it, right? Not quite. Good God. Um, I know we have a lot going towards the fighters and the close air support. Probably don't need as much going towards those. So let's go and pull those back. And that'll work for right now, guys. Uh, I know a lot of these are damaged, but we're going to get them repaired soon. Uh, and, yeah, that'll, that'll work. Uh, oh, yes, we never did what the fuck we came in here to do, and that was to spend the damn experience, uh, which we're going to finish the tactical bombers up because uh, it looks like they only need a little bit more experience for them, and they'll be done. So we want to get that reliability up so that we can do the bombing of the engines. Uh, and there we go. And that's decommissioned. And put in the new ones. Uh, it does seem that we're also, yeah... Looks like we're a little bit short on the tungsten, um, or chromium, excuse me. So let's go ahead and trade for that with the Turks. And yes, I'm going to get these guys destroyed. That looks good. I do want to take a look at what happened over here since we forced the Dutch East Indies to capitulate. Looks like we now have all this territory, but they're going to retake it over if we don't hurry and get our guys over there. Um, so we also have to do that one again, that naval invasion. We're going to let our, our troops get their organization back up. Let's go ahead and have these one of these guys anyway come all the way over here and take all this territory. Um, and then let's get these guys advancing the front down here. Um, and then you guys are going to go all the way across. Uh, and then once I get that wrapped up, I don't know if we'll take all this territory here. It's Yeah, I don't think it's worth it. Uh, we do want to get troops over here to this dockyard so we can go ahead and take the rest of that over, though. Um, get all Papua New Guinea under our control. Um, did we advance all these troops? Just make sure everybody is currently attacking somewhere. Uh, like you guys could be launching that attack right there because it's an easy, easy win. 
Uh, and anybody's on the front needs to be needs to be attacking at all times. All right, so they're attacking that way. They're attacking that way. Got it. What about these guys? What are they doing? Okay, they're currently grabbing that front up. Looks like we got cut off here, so that's unfortunate. We'll, we'll fix it. Let's go ahead and try and get ourselves a victory there. Um, and yeah, just not a lot of uh, yeah, just not enough troops over here uh, to really get anything done. Uh, we just the front is overstretched, but we just got the rest of those yellow troops in here, so we'll be able to pull the purple army back as they get onto the front. Uh, so let's go ahead and oops, attack these guys here and try and get them wiped out. There we go. Um, yeah, this is that's good. Uh, let's go ahead and grab that province up too. And it looks like we could probably get uh, what we're going to do is let's have them come over there, and then we'll launch an attack here to stop them. Maybe even maybe even win. Go ahead and throw the purple army in there too, uh, and then a the light tank will get across that river. Well, I was going to say <laughs> pretty much uh, without having to fight anybody, but that is not the case. Uh, so he's currently defending. Um, I'd love to get a victory here. Uh, so let's see if we can. And then what we're going to attempt to do is let's go and attack across here as well, help these divisions out here and looks like our divisions here got cut off so let's rescue them save their lives guys save their lives all right there we go excellent um let's go ahead and push forward here support all right looking good we're getting victories and that's what's important let's go and attack Ooh, whoa what happened there i don't know what division i had assigned but that's not the one i wanted i wanted to grab this guy and have him attack there and that would be a loss all right well that's okay let's have this guy go in and these two go this way all right. Um, yeah, continuing to advance the front. We're going to move towards Philadelphia and then Washington, D.C. Uh, and also our invasion here, I think we're going to go ahead and launch it now. I'm pretty sure they should be repaired enough. Yeah, they're looking pretty solid. They're not completely repaired, but it's good enough. All right, so they should go back to their task. Maybe they won't. Uh, hopefully they should. Go back out there. There we go. Um, so what we're going to want to do, actually, the task that they're currently doing is not not what we want them to do right now. Uh, we want to pull them back and have them instead cover these two regions for that invade. Well, they don't need to cover that one. Never mind. They need to cover that one um, and then this one. And then we'll bring the new fleet in, which is right here somewhere, right here. So here's the new fleet. Looking pretty good size. Um, just, what's it, 44 ships. That's that's not bad. Uh, yeah, not bad at all. And let's get them uh, doing their task. Search and destroy. Oops. God damn it. Right here, uh, which is the one region we need to get going. And once they get over there, then we'll be able to launch the invasion. Seems that we do have some civilian factories that need to uh, get a job, get a task. So let's assign them something. Uh, we're going to give them, let's have them repair that, or build that up, excuse me. Uh, is there, okay, we're already building over there. I think we have airbase building over there as well. Um, looking pretty good all throughout here. What I want to do ahead and do, though, is get radar stations in New York. Let's stick New York up, so that should, soon should be under our control. I don't see us losing any more territory over there. Uh, I'd be really, really surprised if we did. Uh, and then let's go ahead and build a few men's air factories, just because uh, there's, you know, obviously still, we had our, our lines are all built out for when we had a, a ton of stuff. Uh, so it looks like we actually have room to build in many of these regions. So let's go ahead and take care of that. All right, so that should keep those, those uh, factories busy for a little while. Uh, and let's go ahead and continue attacking across here, and let's grab up that territory. So I have you guys, well, they probably wouldn't win there. I wonder if we can get any nukes falling uh, overhead. Let me just see. It looks like this is a new air region. All right, and we're not going to be able to put any planes down there just yet. Uh, we kind of need to wrap this territory up here uh, before we're going to be able to. Let's just see if we can't finish this up. And what I want to do is, now that we have the yellow army here, I want to pull the purple army back because they are currently tasked to a bit too much, I think. Um, they're having trouble getting it done. Uh, so what I want to go and do, let's have you guys destroy them. And then we'll destroy those guys there. Uh, and, yeah, looking pretty good here. Um, and it is saving right now. Uh, let's attack there. Uh, that is not going to work. Pull it back. Uh, yeah, we're going to need more troops down here. If we're going to be able to do any more attacks. Uh, should be able to get some wins here, though. Uh, let's have these guys support here. And then you guys um, attack across that river there. And attack there, please. And you guys attack down here. I know that the uh, purple army wants to go up to the north, but I'm sorry, you cannot. You cannot do it. Um, okay, they're all over here. Now, why do we not have all of our yellow army over here? That's because they're over here trying to get this wrapped up. Got it. Let's make them uh, finish it. Finish them off. 
get those divisions destroyed. Uh, and there we go. Excellent. Uh, so all the yellow army can come down here now and help us out. Uh, what I want you guys to do. Um, looks like we have one too many divisions assigned up over here. Who is the other division? This guy. Stay where you're at, my friend. You, on the other hand. Oh, okay. So we actually had the wrong division over here. Stay there. All right, so this guy is going to continue pushing forward here, grabbing provinces. You guys are going to attempt to grab that province right there. Uh, looks like we did win there, perhaps. Yeah, they're retreating right now. Uh, but still can't do much over here because of, uh, you know, just don't have the troop numbers, um, which is okay. Um, Canada, really, it just comes down to getting Vancouver. If we can grab Vancouver up, which we're just going to beeline over there to Vancouver and see if we can't get it. If we can grab Vancouver up, uh, then I think they'll capitulate. Uh, so let's make it a priority. So let's go and attack over here. A lot more divisions over here, unfortunately. Uh, yeah, there's a lot of them. <laughs> there's a lot of divisions, so let's grab that one over. I'll grab that one up so that we can uh, grab that victory point. Um, and I think we're out of the supply region. I could be wrong. Yeah, we're out of the supply region, so I think we should go ahead and move. Oh, they're not even here yet anyway. Okay, we're waiting on this army here uh, to get to the support, and then we're going to move them into Alaska. And I guess probably have them do a naval invasion. All right, so can these guys launch just yet? I don't know if they're gonna win. Uh, it looks like we're actually having a bit of supply problems here, which is weird. Not entirely sure why. Huh, I thought we had fixed the supply issues here. Oops, my bad. Uh, what we need to do is take a look if the, it didn't get damaged or anything. Yeah, I'm not entirely sure why that we're having supply issues again, but that's a fucking shame. Um, Damn, maybe it was the port. Okay, it was probably the, oh, it's the naval base that's operating out of here. The naval, uh, the fucking navy, <laughs> naval fleet uh, that we moved there. Uh, they are exhausting the supply. Got it. So let's move them here, and that should fix the supply problem. Excellent. All right, so now we can let their organization repair, uh, build back up before we do that invasion. Uh, so I'm glad we we noticed that because I don't think they would have done as well in the invasion, not as well as we would like. Uh, so let's just take a look how the situation here is going. Uh, I think we should probably go ahead and attempt to launch these troops again. And, well, the other organization is good enough. All right, let's go ahead and launch them. That's a different division. Uh, and hopefully, they're able to win this time uh, because we now have uh, more air support. Um, and then these divisions here, now that they're done, uh, what we're gonna do is let's go ahead and have them go to a port and then move over to here. Oh, they can't. That's a, damn it. We lost it. Oh, fuck. All right, that sucks. Um, we're going to have to build another port, I suppose. Just something really, really quick. Just so we can get in here. And we'll pop it up to the top. See how long that takes to, to build. It's going to be the 3rd of February, so it's going to be about a month. Damn. All right, well, we need to get troops over here so we don't lose all that. I don't want to have to do a naval invasion there. Uh, you know, on, on territory that we already have. That'd be really, really shitty. Uh, what are we lacking aluminum for? Huh, that's weird. Okay, whatever. Uh, what we'll do is... Let's trade with Italy. Give them our factories. And then I also want to take a look and see how our subjects are doing. Make sure nobody's getting too high. Alright, excellent. Looking good, guys. Um, these guys are all done training, so let's go ahead and stop them from training. We're going to take um, probably all of them. Uh, we'll take all of them but one. And we're gonna want them com coming over here. Uh, the only problem is that yeah, we don't have. Yeah, that sucks. Hmm. Okay, let's let's just move them over there for right now. We'll put them in their own little army. Doesn't matter. And just get them coming over here, and we'll fuck with them when they when we get them there. Uh, so let's go and continue advancing. Um, we need to get Philadelphia. Can we get it? Yeah, the yellow armies. Not down here in the south where I need them, unfortunately. Okay, uh, so let's attempt. Can we get? Can we nuke? We cannot. Yeah, I, I don't know why. Uh, is it just not seventy per? Yeah, okay. Hmm. Let me just take take a look here. Yeah, seventy five percent is where we need to be at, and we're not quite there. Okay, um, do we have any other air bases where we can put... We do. Okay, so we built this one up. So there is a bit of room there. So what we're going to want to do is let's go and get more fighters here so that we can hopefully seize control of the skies enough where we can drop some nukes because that would be super useful. Um, air superiority. And then we should also probably give ourselves a little bit more close air support as well. 
There we go. Uh, seems that the army experience is stacked up, so we're going to want to go ahead and make use of that. Uh, just in a second, let's get this assigned first. Uh, these guys are doing pretty good here as well. If we can get that air base there, then that would allow us to uh, uh, put more planes over here, a little bit closer where they can actually support our troops. Um, I don't know if these guys would win here, even with support. No, no, it's not gonna work. All right, just pull it back. Thought we might as well try it. Uh, it did not work though. Yeah, we're having some difficulty now. We need to get access to our nukes again. There we go, excellent. So let's go ahead and launch an attack here. Have the tanks go in and then nuke them. And let's have these guys come here uh, and nuke them. <laughs> and uh, where else should we attack? Let's have tanks attack there and nuke them. And then we're going to want to go, we're not going to be able to go down here. This is a different air region, I believe. Yeah, so not, we're not going to be able to use the, the nukes down here just yet. Not yet, right, my awesome. friends. Oh, it looks like they're about to attack there. Let's go and lock them down. We'll go ahead and nuke them as well. All right, so it should start seeing nukes drop across here. Start getting some winds. There we go. Looking gorgeous. All right, it's beautiful. It's beautiful, guys. All right, so we should have these guys cut off, um, but we're going to need to stop them from retreating. So let's just send one division in just to lock them down for a minute. There we go, and then let's get these guys destroyed here. Have them go this way, then go that way, and then go over here. All right, excellent. Um... Let's grab that province up. Attack over this way. Uh, and we need to lock them down, but I don't really have anybody to do it just yet. So we'll just see if the tanks can't beat them. They did. Excellent. They're so quick. So fast. All right. Um, so try to get more troops over here uh, so we can go grab Philadelphia up. Uh, see if there's any other regions here we can take. It looks like uh, they keep assigning divisions here, which is a little bit frustrating because I don't want divisions assigned there. Um, so what we're going to do... Let's take, which one's this one? Is it this guy? Okay, it's going to be these two. Stay on this front, assholes. <laughs> Just fucking do it. Um, can't can't attack anywhere here, though. It looks like, oh, we're retreating. All right, well, that's a shame. Yeah, yep, that's a shame. All right, but that's okay. I'm actually going to allow that because it might let us cut them off easier uh, if we let them get deeper into our territory. Uh, let's take a look at how this front is going here. Um, let's attack there. Should be an easy victory. Uh, then we're going to have them go, come up over here. Um, the front is, is getting a bit wide over here. We're still waiting a lot of, for a lot of divisions uh, that are coming from the back. Uh, so they need to get their asses over here uh, to come help us out. Let's attack over this way. Let's attack over that way. And we've gotten Vancouver. Uh, I'm surprised that the Canadians have not capitulated. Uh, that is actually incredibly surprising. They're 86% towards capitulation. God, um, one of the things that I've noticed ever since the last patch is that y you need to take a lot more territory, guys, in order to uh, get countries to capitulate. It's kind of a shame because um, you got to conquer the whole fucking country all the time. All right, so we, we've got our invasion launching into Puerto Rico. Uh, I don't know how well it's going to go. Probably going to lose, but let's hope for the best. <laughs> and also... I think we launched this invasion, didn't we? Did we lose? Or did we win? It looks like we won. All right, excellent. So once these guys all get over to the port, what we're going to do... I think they should all be going now. They're not taking the railroads, though. Take the railroads. Get your asses over there. Oh, never mind. I talked too soon. They weren't into the province yet. All right, so they are not going to win. Uh, it's just too difficult, unfortunately. All right, well, that's a shame. All right, so we do have these guys here. What I want to do... Uh, we don't have the port yet, so that's fine. we got to wait a couple more weeks. A couple more weeks and we'll get the port, and then we're going to send those troops over there. Uh, and we do have to pay attention to this front as well, because I really think we're going to need to use our fleet to assist them. Uh, and yes, the army experience. We never did spend that. So it's going to take care of that. We're going to spend it on medium tanks, probably, unless we don't need it on the medium tanks. Where are the medium tanks at? Yeah, we do need it. All right, so let's get these guys leveled up. Probably won't spend all of it. That's fine. And... Let's decommission the alphas and bring in the bravos. So spent most of our experience. Uh, let's take a look and see how the situation here is going. What I'm going to do is let's just change this up. No longer necessary. And just have the purple army cover that. There we go. Looking good. Um, can we attack across this front? And do we have access to the nukes over here? We do. Uh, we don't actually need them, but we might use them any damn way. Uh, let's actually send them that way. And them that way. And then we'll nuke any area. 
where we're kind of losing. Just even a little bit. If it just looks like I might lose, <laughs> we'll, send, we'll attack. Or we'll drop the nukes on them. Nuke. Nuke. Remember, this does damage to all of their troops, so it's useful no matter what. Um, there we go. I think that one's going to be a win. We won't use the nuke there. Uh, and, yeah, they did pull back here, but this is going to allow us to grab... Oh, never mind. That doesn't work. Can we win here? And, I don't, and we can drop a nuke there. All right, awesome. So we'll be able to cut these troops off. So it went well. Uh, it went good. Uh, let's have... Okay, so they're going to go there. That's actually fine. Come on over here. Do we have more troops assigned to this? I don't know. They're probably messing it up again. Uh, they love messing it up. <laughs> can we... Huh. Yeah, that's not going to be a victory. Well, where are they going right now? Let's just grab that province then. And can these guys win? Yeah, it looks like they might be able to win. We'll attack them there. Can these guys win? They cannot. All right, I didn't think so. There are a lot of divisions there. All right, let's go ahead and take a look at the front here. It looks like we did get cut off. Um, not surprising uh, because the front is so wide uh, and I've been just pushing troops forward without really proper support at this moment because um, I'm just kind of rushing this shit. Uh, and really, that's that's fine, I think. I know that that's going to result in some troops getting cut off, but it's it's not that big of a deal, guys. Um, these guys could always come back, liberate themselves by taking like that province right there. I don't know if that'll that might not liberate. Yeah, it's kind of connected. It's hard to tell. It's really hard to tell, honestly. All right, so I don't think these guys should advance anywhere though. I don't think they'd be able to win anyways. Uh, and they do look like yeah, they were trying to cut us. Okay, they did cut us off. That's fine. We're bringing more troops in to liberate them. I just want to hold that province. Um, Hopefully get the Canadians to capitulate. God, it would be so much easier to get this area taken over if they would just give up. Just surrender. Okay. Um, yeah, right now we're stuck with the the river here. Um, stuck in New Jersey. Ugh, nobody wants to be stuck in New Jersey. Um, I, I always... Never really was a big fan of Jersey. Um, we always had to go into Jersey. Uh, you know, I grew up in, in Philly, if you don't know. And to get to the shore, to get to the ocean, uh, the beach, you gotta you gotta go through Jersey, and <laughs> it's uh, it's not a nice area. Right across the river is when you go. The first place you go into is Camden, and Camden's kind of kind of a it's it's unique. <laughs> I don't want to talk shit about anybody's hood here, um, but yeah, it's it's not exactly a nice neighborhood, um, and I I mean. I grew up in the ghetto my whole life, so I'm used to being in the ghetto. I used to being poor and living in poor areas. Uh, but it doesn't change the fact that you don't like going to poor areas to ghettos that you're not from, because it's different. Um, and it looks like, what happened here? Okay, that's not our invasion. So let's say it looks like we're gonna lose uh, that attack. Yeah, you don't wanna be in a ghetto that you're not from. Um, when everybody knows you in the neighborhood, it's it's just different. They don't, nobody treats you. Uh, everybody treats you like they know you. Um, what happened here? Yeah, they're just all dicked up. All right, so what we're gonna do is let's get them going back into their port here. Uh, but yeah, you go into a neighborhood where nobody knows you, and yeah, they're often not as as friendly. Um, yeah, and then when you're a white guy, such as myself, uh, you have like a big target on your back. Like everybody, everybody's wondering why you're there, because uh, I, I grew up in mostly black neighborhoods, uh, and black people are incredibly racist. Um, you could argue they have good reasons for being racist. They don't like white people. Um, they don't trust them. It takes a long time for you to kind of gain their trust as a white person. You gotta do a little bit more work than you would. Um, I remember growing up and I really hated being white for a long time because of the way people treated me because of my skin color. They treated me different and I didn't like it. Um, nobody wants to look different than everybody else around them, you know? So, it's just one of those things. Um, you kind of get the... Some people call it reverse racism. I don't call it that. I just call it racism. Uh, it's just fucking racism. Uh, and it's just the way it is. People treat you different because you're racist. And it's not just white people that are racist. Everybody is. Uh, there's a lot of racist people out there. Me personally, you know, I've never been a racist myself. Um, don't really like racist people. I think it's kind of stupid. It's kind of ignorant uh, to judge somebody based upon the color of their skin. It's kind of silly, personally. But maybe that's because I was always on the, uh, the back end of that, getting the negative uh, part of it. Maybe that's why I feel so so you know strong about it, uh, but yeah, I don't I don't like racism, guys. It's it's uh it sucks. Nobody wants to be treated differently because of the way they're born. Uh, did we win here? We did, I think. Yeah, looks like we won there. Excellent. Um, so this division is now cut off. All right, just problems, problems, guys. Um, 
and these guys have been reconnected because of them taking that. I didn't realize that that was going to reconnect them. I should have. Uh, but yeah, I did. Uh, so let's see if we can't tack them there and then... Hmm. What is that one division in here with the purpose of losing just to lock them down while we grab that up? And then we'll have these guys here support that attack. And then these, these three divisions here would be cut off from supply. Now, I'd love to take this one here, but then they would just grab that province from us, which is not desirable. Um, we should be reconnected again soon anyways, uh, once they win here. Alright guys, so that is actually going to be the end of the episode. We're doing pretty good, it's, it's slow slow moving, um, but we're, we're invading into America right now. Canada should be defeated soon. Just taking a look at the uh, current situation here. Um, the Canadians are currently 87% towards capitulation. The United States is 16% towards capitulation. They lost 6 million men. Uh, we've lost 504,000, so half a million. Not bad considering all the wars that we have been in. And the majority of that we lost was still due to Spain. Spain was where our, our uh, biggest losses were. Uh, it was a difficult fight. Uh, this invasion here is about halfway there. Or actually a little bit over halfway. Um, we do have all this uh, area conquered here. The, the invasion of the Philippines has been failing miserably. Uh, we'll continue attacking there. All right, guys, so we're going to end the episode here. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, make sure you leave that like, subscribe to the channel, and thanks for watching, guys.